As I head into my fourth decade of service as a nonprofit leader, I'm reminded of the many highs and lows along the pathway that got me to this point in life. According to a recent survey, we're moving into another challenging season for nonprofits. But as in past seasons, we can weather this new storm by implementing a few strategies that can recession proof your nonprofit. Pull up a chair and grab your laptop. You're not going to want to miss this presentation. A little more than five years ago, our organization hosted a weekend event for major donors in San Antonio. At that event was a very successful retired businessman and his wife. The couple had been involved in our local efforts, but at this event, they were introduced to the global scope and breadth of our organization and our mission and vision. The couple so embraced the goals and direction that they decided that the husband should return to the workplace to enable them to give as much as possible to our organization. He told a few of us that 100% of his earnings would go towards helping us fulfill our mission and vision. Soon after, he excitedly shared, I see every day as another opportunity to make an impact for eternity. This past April, he returned to the Major Donor Weekend, but this time to share the couple's giving story in hopes of helping others better understand the vision that overtook them. During the testimonial time, a picture of the mirror in their bathroom appeared on the huge screen next to him. On the mirror was a copy of the original card the couple completed in San Antonio with the face stretching commitment scribbled on it. He once again stated, this reminds me every morning of the commitment I made and why I go to work every day. Those are the kinds of people you and I get to work with when we serve in the nonprofit world. People who stand with us shoulder to shoulder, helping accomplish our mission. And no matter how challenging times get, I'm always reminded of those people, men and women like this couple, that we get to serve with as partners. In July of 2022, a national study of donors was commissioned by the consulting firm BBS & Associates and conducted by the research group Campbell Rinker to determine the residual impact of COVID-19 and rising inflation on donor giving. The poll was conducted of 645 U.S. donors. The study produced the following five top takeaways. Number one, donors have an increasingly pessimistic view of the economy. Number two, America's most generous generation in 2021, baby boomers are now the most negative about their personal finances. Number three, donors are giving to fewer new charities. Donor number four, the economic climate is causing donors to rethink their giving strategies, giving less to charities this year than last. Number five, five major factors have emerged that could negatively impact giving. Higher taxes, interest rates, stock market volatility, and national concern about the direction of our country. These were indeed sobering findings. However, this challenging season doesn't have to be one of despair for your nonprofit or mine. There are five areas of focus that will help get your donors or partners through this downturn and keep them giving to your nonprofit. They are as follows. Number one, seek ways to share the mission and impact. It's important for you to reinforce the mission and vision of your organization and why it exists. This can be done through various mediums, but should clearly communicate the reason your organization was started, including what problem was created to solve. In addition to featuring your strategies and programs, it's most critical to highlight the results, outcome, and impact that's being made. Examples should be given of not only the impact made on large groups of people, but on individual lives that are being changed. At this time, the impact should be featured in a greater way than usual. Be sure to mention the strategic nature of their giving and include examples, if possible, of ways you are being good stewards of their resources and that their giving is going further than ever, if that's possible to say. 
Also, include ways for them to save on their taxes using tax advantage giving opportunities and other tools that will maximize their giving. Number two, seek ways to thank more. If you're already thanking people for their giving and partnership, look for over-the-top ways to appreciate them. Send special mailings, emails, and gifts as a way to recognize their partnership and do so without asking for money. You never want them to perceive your thanks as an effort to manipulate them or guilt them into giving. Number three, seek ways to go deeper. Look for ways to deepen or enrich your relationship with your donors or partners. Solicit their opinions and advice and seek opportunities to pull them close to the organization. Make them feel like insiders. Look for ways for them to live life and engage with senior leadership and board members either personally or while serving your target audience. Treat those who give to your organization as partners. Make them feel like an important member of your family. When possible, solicit their feedback and even include them in the decision-making process of the organization. Invite some to become advisory board members and, or even members of your board of directors. As donors begin to reduce the number of organizations and amount they support, they'll begin by cutting back on those organizations they have little or no connection to. You want to be perceived as a close friend which makes it harder for them to reduce or cut funding. Remember the principle that says, old as time. It's easier to keep a current donor or renew a lapsed donor than it is to find a new donor, especially in times of economic uncertainty. Current or lapsed donors have already demonstrated support for your efforts, and thus their decision to give should be reinforced. Efforts should be made to show them that we consider them vital the success of our mission. Number four, seek ways to be trusted. Since donors or partners are looking for the greatest impact or most significant return on investment, show them that your organization is making a difference and can be trusted to spend gifts wisely. Seek ways to show that all your records are open and that you're upfront in your operations. That includes showing them that you have an independent board of directors audited financials, and that you're a member of an outside monitoring organization that verifies your integrity, if that's the case. Make your annual report and audited financials available in many forms, including online or written format. And make donors aware of how to find them on your website. It's important that all funding appeals are clear and unambiguous, and if the donor designates their gift, ensure that it's used exactly where it was requested. It's nearly impossible to earn back trust or regain a reputation once it's lost. Show ways that you're being a good steward of their resources and their gifts. Number five, seek ways to offer a message of hope. Communicating hope and a positive outlook in all your communication is so very important. Even if the media and society as a whole is sending a message of despair, your organization must bring a different message. This is best done by finding and highlighting a very positive outlook on your future efforts and especially on the results or outcomes of your programs or projects. You should feature or highlight the difference their gift can make or is making. That's making a lasting impact on the lives of one or more individuals. If a strong return on investment, ROI, is important to donors, find ways to emphasize the great impact their gift is making on our world and be sure to feature a story of at least one individual or change life. If your organization is seeing one or more of the negative trends found in this study, be sure to focus on the solutions and seek ways to share the impact, thank more, go deeper, be trusted, and offer hope. These ways won't ensure that you're not impacted by these current trends, but they'll certainly soften the blow and help you weather the storm. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit the like button and add a comment below listing which concepts you like best or wanted to start first. If you've never subscribed to this channel, please know 
that is no cost to you and this channel exists to help you raise more money to accomplish your mission and make a difference in countless lives. Simply hit the subscribe button and click the all bell to be notified when the next video is released. Consider sharing this with a friend or colleague. If you want to find out what to do and say during a meeting with a donor, watch this video and raise more money than ever before and better our world. I wish you the best as you strive to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.